Hey everyone, and welcome to this video on integrating Power BI. I am Tim Weinzaffel, and in this video, I'm going to talk about receiving automatic notifications when you are refreshing your Power BI data source. Now, let me give you an example of what I mean by this. So here I am on my Power BI service, and uh, you'll see a couple of items. I've got a report right here. I've got the semantic model for that report, uh, and then I have a data flow, which I'll get to in a second. But you're probably familiar with some of the refresh options, such as the, uh, the refresh now option, or I could go into here and go into settings and set up a scheduled refresh, such as right here. If I go to refresh, I can go ahead and schedule uh, a refresh and then you know turn that on. Now, when you are setting up a scheduled refresh, you do have this option down here to receive notifications, but that's only when the refresh fails. Now, wouldn't it be great if you could be notified when the refresh was successful? Now, unfortunately, there's not a, a, an option here to do it when you are doing, you're working with a standard semantic model. I have found ways on the uh, web, people have found some workarounds to be notified when your uh, report is successful, but um, there is another way uh, if you are using a data flow. So let me jump back to that, and I've got an example here where I've created a data flow. Um, now this, what I'm about to show you, only works with data flows, it does not work with semantic models, but if you are starting to use data flows, they are very easy to set up and they are great. And they also allow this benefit to be notified when refreshes are complete. Let's jump over to Power Automate and I can show you how to quickly set this up. I moved over to Power Automate and if I go over here to create and I'm going to do an automatic cloud flow and I'm gonna go ahead and skip this just because I wanna pull up the trigger. Uh, and I'm gonna switch to the old designer just because I like it better. Uh, and this will certainly work with the new designer. But if I go here and I go to Power BI to search what are the available triggers, you're not gonna find one here to trigger when the refresh is completed. So, but if I go back and if I search data flow, there is one that when a data flow refresh completes, and that is whether it's a successful refresh or whether it fails. So if I use this as my trigger, this is very easy. It asks me for uh, whether or not I am working in a Power BI workspace or a Power Platform environment. So in my case, I'll choose a workspace. Uh, I'll go ahead and select the workspace that I'm in, and then I will select the data flow, and it's gonna pull up all the available data flows, uh, and there is one right there. So when that data flow refreshes, then there, uh, it will trigger this flow. And then I could start adding action. So let's say I wanna go ahead and be notified that one was complete or not. I wanna know the outcome. So I can go ahead and I'll use the send an email option. And I will use this one here. Uh, I would go ahead and put uh, who I want it going to. So I'll send it to myself. Uh, and then I'm going to say uh, refresh complete for, and I'll, now when I look over here and I see what attributes are available, I can see the ID, the name of the data flow, which would be correspond with the one I selected. But then I also get uh, what was the refresh type, uh, the start time and the end time. So I could actually calculate, uh, determine how long that refresh took. Or there's the refresh status, which it'll say possible values are success. I believe it's success uh, canceled uh, and failed. So I will go ahead and say I want the refresh for the, that refresh or that data flow. And here is the result. And I could just do start time. I'll put in the start time. And then I've got my status. So this right here is going to tell me whether it's it succeeded or failed. I could also add a conditional statement. So let's say I wanted if the uh, outcome of it had failed. Uh, in fact, I could go ahead and do that. So let's say um, I see the possible values are success, um, canceled or failed. So instead of doing this, I could add a condition. So if I go here into the control, I could add a conditional loop based on the status. So if I went down here to refresh status, and if I said it's equal to success, I could then go ahead and add in actions 
when it's successful and I can add in actions over here such as you know in this example sending an email maybe posting on a team team site or whatever so a lot of actions that can be done and it will be triggered then when your data flow refreshes and that's all there is to setting up a very simple notification when you are using data flows and you want to know the outcome of your refresh so I hope you found this helpful uh, I will be continuing to do more videos on how you can integrate Power BI with uh, other applications. So if you did like this, please uh, hit that like button and uh, thank you for watching.